In part A of this question, we have a pretty simple and straightforward inequality to solve. 3 over y plus 1 greater than 2 over y minus 2. The first thing we should be doing is to bring the term on the right hand side over to the left hand side such that we get 3 over y plus 1 minus 2 over y minus 2 greater than 0. Thereafter, we can combine the fractions to get 3 times y minus 2 minus 2 times y plus 1 over y plus 1 times y minus 2 greater than 0. And we can then simplify this fraction into y minus 8 over y plus 1 y minus 2 greater than 0. Next, we can bring the denominators up to get y minus 8 times y plus 1 times y minus 2 greater than 0. Now, with this factorized form, we can draw the graph out. On our x-axis, we have the roots minus 1, 2, and 8. And our curve is going to go this way to cut the three roots. And therefore, from this graph, we can see that the solution is y less than negative 1 or y between 2 and 8. In part b, we have to solve the inequality of 2 over modulus y minus 1 less than 3 over modulus y plus 2. And this is a hands question, which means we need to make use of the inequality and its solution from part a. So now we will need to find out a link between the two inequalities. First, we note that everything has been swapped in a sense that the 2 and the 3 has been swapped and the inequality sign has been flipped as well. Therefore, we know that if we want to have a meaningful comparison, we will need to mentally swap the two terms around. By observing, we can make a substitution of y as mod y plus 1. Now let's make this substitution into our original inequality and we will get 3 over mod y plus 1 plus 1 greater than 2 over mod y plus 1 minus 2. And we can simplify this to 3 over mod y plus 2 greater than 2 over mod y minus 1. Now if we swap the two terms around, we will end up with 2 over mod y minus 1 less than 3 over mod y plus 2, which is the inequality that we are asked to solve in part b. And therefore, we know that substituting y as mod y plus 1 is the correct substitution to be used. And therefore, we can now substitute y as mod y plus 1 in our solution from part a to get mod y plus 1 less than negative 1 or mod y plus 1 between 2 and 8. And we know that we have to reject mod y plus 1 less than negative 1 because uh, mod y plus 1 is a definitely positive term and it will never be less than negative 1. Now, if we simplify the second inequality, we will end up with mod y between 1 to 7. And to solve this inequality, we have to break it up into two parts. First, mod y more than 1. And secondly, mod y less than 7. And if we solve these two inequalities separately, we will end up with y less than negative 1. Or y more than 1. And y is between minus 7 to 7. Thereafter, if we combine these three solutions together, we will end up with the solution of negative 7 less than y less than negative 1 or 1 less than y less than 7.